first question. Okay, question number one is, do you think when in Rome, do as the Romans do is always a good advice? Why or why not? Have you ever been in a situation where you felt you had to do as Romans do? I'm going to give you just some more time to read the question. Okay. Uh, I'm stopping the share now, please. Who wants to answer the first question? Wave me or write to the chat, I want. I can see your faces. You really, really want to answer this question. Please don't be shy. Yes, no. the answer should take from one minute to two minutes. Okay, I can see Timo wants to um, answer, please. Okay, I'll take this. Okay, three, two, one, go. Do as the Romans do, as Romans say. I could relate to this when I was studying abroad in UK, specifically Portsmouth, UK. So it was in 2013. By then, the world is already quite flat, very flat in the sense whereby UK is already very internationalized. And of the years that I've been there, I've learned that even though the even though UK is quite international, there are some cultures which are there are some traditional cultures which are still true even today. One of them being drinking. Okay. So drinking, it could be tea or hard drinks. So for me, my pick was tea. But at the same time, I do as the Romans do or did what the British did. And of course, being a student, I've been to pubs. And not just one pub, but pub hopping. If you ever heard of the term pop hopping and I'd say it's, it's quite an experience, especially back then when my alcohol tolerance wasn't that high. And it's one of those memorable experience that I had because when I get back, when I get back to my flat, it, I I was grateful that I could get back to my flat. <laughs> so yes, you do as the woman do, but sometimes you have to know your where where you stand and where your limit is. <laughs> so you don't want to get too drunk if the thing is drinking and who knows something may happen. So that is my take on this. Thank you very much, okay. Mr. Taima. Thank you very much. It's an amazing um, answer and a good advice for everyone to know your limits when drinking. So let's proceed to the next question. And just to cl clarify, I can see in the chat that Mr. Marutesh uh, has uh, wanted to answer. And is he going to be the second one, I think? So. Question number two is, when people from other countries think about your culture, what do they usually think of? And here we can have two speakers if we have enough time. Okay, I'm stopping the sharing now. You can read the question in the chat. Uh, I assume Mr. Marutesh is going yeah, to yeah. answer for Malaysia. 
though I don't know who he is, but he had yeah. sent I'm me. Hello, I'm audible. Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Yeah, hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Amartesh from India. Uh, uh, Please continue with your answer to the second question. Yeah, uh, India. In India, there is a, a more tourism places are there. Uh, most of uh, other countries, peoples will come to our country, and uh, we have uh, different different culture. India is a uh, India, India is a different, different culture where people are there in India. There is uh, no one, one or two culture. Uh, in India, there are uh, uh, Indian population is uh, one uh, uh, one point uh, twenty one crore population is there in India. It is the largest uh, population country in the world. And here, uh, uh, here we have different, different culture, different, different states are there. More than uh, 28 states are there. In one, one states also, uh, more than six crore, seven crore people are living. There, uh, every state have different, different uh, cultural, different, different languages uh, people are there in the India. And uh, here, uh, uh, here, there are, uh, every country have uh, different uh, culture. I'm from uh, Karnataka. In uh, Karnataka, uh, uh, in Karnataka is uh, famous for uh, some uh, uh, dosa is famous in uh, Karnataka. And here uh, we have uh, this is uh, co coastal area. And here, uh, here the traditional kingdoms are there in this place. Uh, and uh, uh, the famous uh, dance is uh, Bharatanatya, Kachakuli, uh, like that the famous uh, da 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 dances are uh, there in these uh, states. Uh, like that, uh, and every, uh, it is a big country and uh, uh, the culture based on their religions, there are different, different uh, cultures. Uh, in uh, religions, there are some caste like that, there are every, uh, uh, based on their uh, uh, caste, uh, th their culture is different. Uh, different, different are there. Okay, thank you for giving. Okay, thank you very much, Marutesh. Uh, now I want to ask someone from Kazakhstani side to answer to the same question, please. Salamat, I can see. Okay, please, please proceed. Hi, everyone. Uh, I think like when you when you are abroad and when you like when I was studying in UK, uh, when I was telling that I am from Kazakhstan to the, some like random local people, they were like, "Oh, you are from the like greatest country in the world, like from the country of the Borat." Like this is was uh, what I was hearing, but uh, after. Uh, uh, and the last time when I was in Italy, also traveling, uh, I've came to like one little city and uh, I was, my internet got, uh, my, my cell phone uh, battery died and I was uh, looking uh, how to get to the city. Uh, basically the bus stop was out of like, the, like it was in the university campus and the, some students decided to give me a ride to the city center. And they were like Italians and they didn't speak English, but like we could communicate somehow. And they was telling like, I'm from Kazakhstan, Astana. And they were like, whoa, Astana, we know like Astana cycling team. We have like this, this Italian cyclists in the Astana team. So like when I uh, say about Kazakhstan, uh, basically the peop uh, people, they first like, Obviously, they think of Borat, and the other is like our like sportsmen, like which are like uh, doing like great job, like winning Olympic medals, and uh, yeah, that's it. And some people think that do you really eat horses? Yeah, that's that's what I encountered. Thank yeah. you very much, Samad. It's a great answer. Um, 
Now we are going to proceed to question number three. And what does it mean to be polite in your culture? Can I, can I take this one? Can I take it? Uh, I'm sorry, but it, it, it was a line in the chat and I have to ask someone who already um, raised their hand before. And I did. Yes, it, yes, it's Chandra Yusuf. Yes, please. Yes, thank you very much. Can I see the question once again? Yes, of course. Just a second. What is... What does it mean to be polite in your culture? In my culture, to be polite is to accept anything offered when we come to somebody's house. Although we don't want to drink, but we have to say yes. Although we don't like the food, we have to accept it. And this is considered polite in my country, in my culture. And even asking question, how old are you, is considered polite. While for foreigners, it is not polite at all. And it is not polite when you are over the drink and then you said yes, but you didn't drink it all. It's an uncontradictory. We think this is polite when we accept anything over by somebody. Another thing is, it is polite in the classroom. When I want to go out, then I have to ask permission. When I was studying in America, I saw the people just go out of the classroom to go to the toilet without asking the lecturer. That is considered impolite in my culture. And also, when I came to their places, and they offered me drink, alcoholic drink, and then I said yes, but I didn't drink it all. They were mad. They said, you wanted to drink, but you didn't drink it. I said, I did drink. Yeah, but you have to finish the drink. And I said, in my country, it is polite to say yes and drink a little and leave it. So that is very strange for me in the beginning when I visited America. Because what is polite in my country is not polite in their countries. Another thing is, in my country, it is polite, it is okay when man and man walking together in the campus, holding hand in hand. Well, in America, they would consider me as gay. So that is very strange, isn't it? Well, those are the things that I think being polite and impolite in my culture. Thank you very much. Back to you. Thank you very much. It was a very interesting answer. And I, I hope you all enjoy how we share our cultures and experiences here today. Uh, let's proceed to the next question. And we all already have someone who wants to answer who is Anshita. She is written as Sarika Chudari. Uh, do you still want to answer the next question? Yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to share my screen now. What has surprised you when you've met people from the other countries? Please share your story with us. Okay. Good, good evening, everyone. I'm Vanshita from India. Uh, one thing that has surprised me when I meet people from other countries is that uh, I will, I have heard a lot about many countries. Uh, there is this one friend of mine from USA. Uh, we were when we were four, we used to, you know, we were neighbors, and then she left India. Now she now after many long years, when when we you know after we met, uh, uh, when we met after many long years, uh, it was so nice to finally see her. Mm. 
well i've not met many people from other countries there's only one of my friend actually she's also from india but they shifted to another country so i don't think i can relate a lot you know to people who've gone uh, who've come from other countries and i've met them um okay uh, uh i don't know i i'm not getting anything else to speak thank you it's okay thank you very much for your answer wow. our timer says we have time for two more questions so let's proceed to question number 5 and I can see that Andre Leon wants to answer this question. Hello. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to share my screen now. So just wait for it. <laughs> what are the five most important values of your culture? And uh, would you please also say uh, from which culture do you come? So we will all be acquainted. Hello. Oh. Uh, am I allowed to respond to this from the perspective of uh, Chinese culture, in a sense, considering where I am located right now tonight? Of course, from any perspective that you like. All right. All right. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. When it comes to culture, I believe there are many things to be considered about the various differences between the traditions of people in different countries. And for my perspective, I believe that as a traveler to Taiwan and also having lived in a Malaysian Chinese culture for much of my childhood, I am somewhat uniquely positioned to answer this question on what are the few, what are the five most important things to Chinese culture? First off, in Chinese culture, again, with relating to the previous respondent, uh, one of the previous respondents is about how when someone offers something to you, you will receive it graciously, even though you may not want it, especially when it pertains to gifts. However, another side of this pertaining to Chinese culture is the deep level of context, because sometimes, even though it may be a gift, you have to consider the meaning behind that object. For example, in Taiwan, giving someone a pair of slippers or an umbrella means you want to end your relationship with them. And also another part of Chinese culture is to be considerate of others around you in terms of the tone of your voice, the behavior of oneself, and the congruence of your own behavior within this society. These are the three uh, major aspects of Chinese culture that I have observed in Taiwan and in uh, Malaysia as well. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very, very informative answer. Dear Mr. Palma, do we have time for one more question? The last one. We are out, we are out of time for the table topic session. We have six table topic responses so far. So yeah, that is time. So we cannot have one more question. That's it. Okay. Mm. We could, we could. I think, I think let's go, let's go for another one. I think okay. let's go for the last one. Here, I didn't, I, I couldn't see who wanted to answer. So you are going to just raise your hand or write to the chat. We're going to choose. Mm. And the last question is, what are the pros and cons of dating a person from another culture? Please share your experience. Uh, hello, I am Manchita's mother. Can I go next? I mean, can I answer this question? 
Yes, of course. Please proceed. Hello. Um, is it okay if I don't switch on my video? I'm in the kitchen preparing dinner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, friends, and people from other culture. What are the pros and cons of dating someone from another culture? What a beautiful question to a married woman. Married for 19 years. If I were to be dating a person from another culture, there would be three pros and two cons. Let me list out the pros first. I would be able to taste ex exemplary, sumptuous food of his culture. Second, I would be able to relate to the spirituality, his belief, his faith, and understand that spirituality, religion, and the something above uh, what we believe in is basically one. Third, I would have filled, I would have my wardrobe filled with clothes from different cultures, and no one would have judged me if I would have worn something from his culture. Let me list out the cons. The first would be I wouldn't be as comfortable as he to attend, perform rituals in his culture. The second con would be I would be extremely judged by all his relatives and they would point a finger if she didn't know our culture, why did you bring her into our culture? Saying this, it is a beautiful thing, always going from one culture to another with complete consent, comfortability, because at the end of the day, human beings are all the same. It doesn't matter where you are from. In your soul, you know that it is all equal. Thank you so much and thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you so much for your answer, Sarika. It was an amazing answer. I think lots of us was listening to you with our full hearts. And on this note, I'm going to end our today's session. Uh, we had our speakers to speak and Mr. Timer, has everyone been on time today? Can we still vote for every speaker? Okay, there is just one overtime, one disqualification. Okay. The rest are qualified. That's good. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, thank you very much for attending this session. It was um, a, a big pleasure to be today your table topic master. And back to Mr. Toastmaster. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Aigenim, for that wonderful session.